Ms. Question Oral, the Honorable Leader of the Opposition. Well, Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister has jetted off on another international trip. No airport lineups for him, and I bet we're going to see some more pictures of him with his mask off having a great exactly. time. He flaunts the personal freedoms he's enjoying abroad, while back here Canadians are suffering under his out-of-date restrictions. Tourism, federal employees, small businesses, families, all are suffering. They're all pawns in the Prime Minister's COVID game. Isn't it true the Prime Minister knows he needs to lift these restrictions, but he would rather do COVID theatre than do what's right? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Health. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And from the beginning of this pandemic, we've been there for Canadians. And of course, it's the Prime Minister's job and obligation to travel to other countries to do his important work. But when we hear the opposition speak positively about public health measures, but badly about vaccination, it confuses the public. We should be encouraging our neighbours to consider a third or a fourth dose. We cannot have relaxed public health measures and more freedom without vaccination as COVID-19 continues to progress. But we all have an obligation to ensure that our neighbours are aware of the opportunity for a third dose. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Well, Canadians would like to be planning their summer vacation right now, but too many are focused on how they're going to be able to afford fuel for their cars or feed their families. Over 20% of Canadians are actually skipping a meal in order to save money. The Liberal solution? Blame. Blame COVID. Blame Putin. Blame Conservatives. Well, today our Conservative Caucus motion provides real solutions so Canadians can take that summer trip, send their kids to camp, and not worry about missing a flight. Will the Liberals support giving Canadians a break, or are they going to double down on that vindictive, petty approach? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Speaker, we absolutely understand that affordability matters for Canadians. And that's why we are taking action, by increasing the Canada workers' benefit. This year, a family of three is getting $2,300 more. By increasing the OAS for seniors 75 and over by 10% this year, Mr. Speaker. And with a $500 top-up, Mr. Speaker, for people facing housing affordability challenges. Leader of the Opposition. It's great. A few piddly checks that might dribble in through the mail. And this government thinks that that has having any impact on what Canadians are dealing with. 30, I'll tell you, Mr. Speaker, 38% of Canadians are worried more about money than anything else that they're dealing with. So these Liberal checks that are coming from the pockets of Canadians because their taxes are going up are doing absolutely nothing. But these Liberals are so massively right. out of touch. They don't understand gas prices. They don't understand high food prices. They don't understand long lineups. They understand nothing about what Canadians are dealing with, and they don't care. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, let me tell you what is out of touch. What is out of touch is for someone who lives in government accommodation to suggest that a check for $2,300 for a family of three working at the minimum wage is piddly. It is out of touch to suggest that for a senior over 75 to get an additional $815 is piddly. This is real support for the Canadians who need it most. Okay, we'll continue. The Honourable, the Honourable Member from Egantic Lerable. Since the crisis, we've realized that the Minister of Finance is completely disconnected from the reality of Canadians. Gas prices aren't too high for her. It's the fault of Russia, the pandemic, and even Canadians. And today, they reproach the Conservatives pr proposing a motion to ask them to take action to give help to all Canadians who are having a hard time paying their bills at the end of the month, Mr. Speaker. We want to help Canadians, but are they going to continue their vindicative games that are giving a hard time for, to Canadians? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker, 
the conservatives like to quote reports from the parliamentary budget officer. So today I will quote the PBO, who today spoke about inflation. And here's what he said. The resurgence of high inflation can be attributed to COVID-19 more recently and to the invasion of Ukraine by Russia. This drove up inflationary pressure. That is it, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member from Mécanique-Clérable, Mr. Speaker, for a Canadian worker, for any Canadian, the reason behind this inflation and why everything costs more is not what matters. It's what, what matters is they can pay food at the end of the month. They want to be able to allow all their children to eat enough at the end of the month. They want to be able to go to work and to pay for the gas to get there. Whether it's the pandemic or COVID behind this or any other reason, the Liberals say, what matters to them is they need help right now. Why are they so disconnected from the reality of Canadians? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker, that's simply not true. The reality is that we take, we understand full well that affordability is very important for Canadian families. And that's exactly why we took measures such as increasing the Canada Workers' Benefit, which will give a loan worker of $1,000 or more. We're looking at another $500 for people who are having a hard time finding housing. 